Started my writing career back in 1992. Uh, failed to get into the Marine Corps due to some head injuries I had as a kid. And I started thinking about writing for a living, which is a little unusual because I grew up dyslexic. Never got better than a C in an English class in high school or college. Never thought I'd be a writer. Mitch Rapp is the all-American hero who cuts through all the red tape and only respects people who command respect from him. But if he comes across a politician that he doesn't respect, he has no issue telling them that they're the biggest piece of crap he's ever met on the planet. And if they don't get away from him, there's going to be problems. He speaks truth to power, and people love that about him. They live vicariously through him. Where it gets a little strange is I go on tour and I meet a lot of fans who think he's real. I will have people at book signs that will say to me, they'll call me Mitch out of confusion. I'm not Mitch Rapp. He's not real. I write fiction based on a lot of facts. <laughs> Protect and Defend, the new book, it was one of the most difficult for me to research because it's about Iran. It's very close to everything that's going on today, and I think it's, a, it's an important book. Not only will it entertain people and, and keep you turning the pages well into the night, wanting to know who rap is going to kill next, it will give the average reader a better understanding of what is going on. I think people will be not just entertained, but they'll be educated by the book. I've got to meet both President Bush and President Clinton. President Bush says, uh, you read his books? They're, they're great. They're a little too accurate. And then he looks at me and he says, where do you get your information? And uh, I was very nervous, but I started to stutter and stammer. And he said, don't worry about it. I know you got a couple guys out at the CIA and at least one guy at the Pentagon. He starts going down and down his list. I spend six months out of the year locking myself in a room day after day after day, trying to put myself in the mind of a terrorist. If I was a terrorist, how would I do this? Where would I strike? How would I carry it out? I've spent 15 years now focusing on Islamic radical fundamentalism and Along the road, I've, I've developed a lot of good contacts and I've, I've come to understand the enemy quite well.